Hello friends, this video on quadratic equations part 11 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 10. So for example, is it possible to design a path of perimeter 80 meter and area 400 meter? So let's assume that perimeter is 80. This is let's suppose x and this is y. Correct? So the question says x plus y into 2 that is the perimeter is equal to 80 or x plus y is equal to 40 is my first equation and the second equation is the area is 800 that is x y is equal to 800. Let's find one equation uh, quarter equation using these two equations. So here I can say y is nothing but 40 minus x. So I'll put this y in this equation I'll get x into 40 minus x is equal to 400, 800 or I'll get x square minus 40x plus 800 is equal to 0. Sorry, this is 400. This is 400. This is 400. So here d is nothing but b square minus 4ac. b is nothing but minus 40 minus 40 square minus 4 into 400. Correct? This is nothing but 1600 minus 1600 that is 0. Since d is greater than or equal to 0, that means this scenario is possible. We did not find the value. Thus the question is, is it possible or not? Yeah, it is possible. Very simple, just form the equation and find the value. Let's take one more scenario. The question is, is this following situation possible? If so, to remind the age. The sum of the ages of two friends is 20 years. Four years ago, their age was, product of the age was 48. Two friends, friend one, friend two. Let's suppose the Rita and Gita. So if Rita is today's age is x, Gita will be 20 minus x. Why? The sum of their age is 20. x plus 20 minus x is 20. This is current age. Four year ago. Four year ago. Four year ago, this Rita was x minus 4. Because if Rita is today's x, four year ago it was x minus 4. And Gita is 20 minus x minus 4. That is 16 minus 6. Correct. 4 years ago their age was x minus 4 and 16 minus 6. The question says 4 years ago the product of their age was 48. That is x minus 4 into 16 minus x is equal to 48. Now this is, we will get a linear equation. Sorry, we will get a quadratic equation. This comes out to be 16x minus x square minus 16 into 4, 64 plus 4x is equal to 48, correct, or I get 20x minus x square minus 8, 4, 12, 6, 4, 10, 8, 12, so it is 0, or I will get x square minus 20x plus 112 is equal to 112 is equal to 0. This is my equation. This is the quadratic equation. Here let me find the value of d d is nothing but b square minus 4ac, b is nothing but minus 20, minus 20 square minus 4 into a into c is 112. This is nothing but 400 minus 4 into 112, that is 4 to the 8, 4 and that is minus 48. Minus 48 is less than 0, so we can say that not possible. So real values of x is not possible. Correct. What we have done, we have just found the equation and then we have told that since the d comes out to be negative, we can say that real values of x is not possible. Let's solve some complex questions. The question says a rectangular park is to be designed whose breadth is 3 meter less than its length. So let's suppose this is my length or this is my length. So breadth will be 3 meter less. So this will be the breadth. Right? This is the breadth, this is the length. The breadth is 3 meter less. So this is x plus 3, this is x. So my x is equal to breadth. Its area is to be 4 square meter more than the area of park that has already been made in the shape of an isosceles triangle with base as the base of rectangles. This is base equal to x and the altitude is 12. The question says area of rectangle, the new area of the power 
it should be 4 square meter more than area of triangle this is the old 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 part correct so this is nothing but area of a triangle is x into x plus 3 and that is 4 plus area of triangle is 1 by 2 into base x into height 12 correct so this is nothing but x square plus 3x minus 4 minus 6x is equal to 0 or we can say that x square minus 3x minus 4 is equal to 0 this is the equation I have got I can factorize this so I'll write this as nothing but x square minus 4x plus x minus 4 is equal to 0 because minus 4 plus 1 is equal to minus 3 minus 4 into 1 is equal to minus 4 so I'll take x common this is x minus 4 plus 1 common x minus 4 so I'll get x plus 1 into x minus 4 is equal to 0 so I'll get x is equal to minus 1 or 4 minus 1 not possible because the length can be negative so x is equal to 4 so x is equal to 4 therefore length is equal to x plus 3 that is 4 plus 3 7 and breadth is equal to x that is 4 this is my answer very simple we have drawn this diagram was there so we have used it and we have told that area of rectangle is equal to 4 plus area of triangle this is the old park area and we got the quadratic equation solved it like that let's take one more scenario the question says a motor boat whose speed is 18 km per hour in still water takes one hour more to go 24 km upstream than to return downstream to the same spot find the speed of the stream so there are two scenarios here actually one is upstream another is downstream in both the case distance is equal to 24 km correct in case of upstream the velocity adds if the velocity of the river is let's suppose vr correct if it is going downstream sorry if it is going downstream that is with the current the total velocity add the total velocity is vr plus v boat in case of downstream and when it is going against the current that is upstream total velocity is velocity of boat minus velocity of current this you have to understand why when the boat is going downstream when the boat is going downstream with the current the velocity adds because the velocity of the river also helps the velocity of the boat when it is going against the current the boat has to struggle right it has to first nullify this velocity and then it has its own velocity so the velocity in upstream is velocity of boat minus velocity of river and velocity of downstream is velocity of river plus velocity of boat so this is velocity so velocity in upstream is nothing but vb vb is vb minus vr that is 18 minus vr and in this case downstream it is 18 plus vr correct this is nothing but velocity not time it is saying the motor boat takes one hour more to go upstream so in downstream if it takes t times it takes t plus one hour if it takes t hours it will take t plus one hours so we have equations we have these values now and we know that time is equal to distance by speed correct so in first case we'll say t plus 1 is equal to 24 by 18 minus vr in second case we have t is equal to 24 by 18 plus vr two equations we have got this is equation 1 this is equation 2 we'll subtract these two equations we'll get 1 is equal to 24 by 1 minus 18 by vr minus 1 by 18 plus vr correct now let's solve this so what we'll get is 1 by 24 is equal to here i'll get 18 minus vr sorry 18 minus vr into 18 plus vr this i'll get 18 plus vr minus 18 minus vr 18 it can cancel correct or i'll get 
18 minus VR into 18 plus VR is equal to 24 into 2 VR. Correct. And if you solve this equation, this becomes 18 minus VR into 18 plus VR is nothing but 18 square minus VR square. Correct. This is 18 square this 324 minus VR square. Right. If you get this equation, I'll write the equation here or here only. This is nothing but VR square plus 48VR minus 324 is equal to 0. This is my equation. Right? So if you solve this equation, if you solve this equation, which I won't solve because I have already explained you how to solve these equations, you can use any other method. So you'll get VR is equal to nothing but 6 or minus 50. Minus 54 is not possible, negative points. So 6 is my answer. Therefore, velocity of river is 6 km per hour. And that is my answer. Correct. What I have done? I have taken the upstream distance, upstream velocity, upstream time, downstream distance, velocity and time. I know the time is going to distance by speed. Use this formula. What two equations? Subtracted this. I got the quad equation in one variable that is vr. And then solve this to get VR is equal to 6 and minus 54. Minus 54 not possible. So 6 is my answer. Now let's do a quick recap of what we have done. A quadratic equation is nothing but an equation of the form ax square. This is ax square plus bx plus c, where a plus b c are real and a is not equal to 0. A, b, c are real and a is not equal to 0. A real number alpha is said to the root of this quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. If a f alpha square plus b alpha plus c is equal to 0, that is instead of x, you put alpha and you get 0, then alpha is root of the equation. The zero of the quadratic polynomial, polynomial ax square plus bx plus c is same as root of quadratic equation. Same thing. See this we have learned in the last chapter, quadratic polynomial. So if you say zeros of quadratic polynomial or if you say root of quadratic equation, they are same thing. If you factorize ax square plus bx plus c is equal to x, this we factorize this into, into uh, linear factors, then the root of ax square plus bx plus c can be found by equating each other factor. For example, this you get something like this x minus alpha into x minus beta is equal to 0. Then you can equate this or this, you will get the answer. That is x minus alpha is equal to 0 or x minus beta is equal to 0, you will get the answer. A quadratic equation can also be solved by completing the square formula. We have shown that. Also, for this quadratic formula, we have ax square plus bx plus c, right? The the roots will be minus b plus minus root b square minus 4 ac by 2a, provided this is greater than z. b square minus 4 ac is greater than z. Also, ax square plus bx plus c has two distinct roots. If b square minus 4 ac is greater than 0, it has two equal roots if b square minus 4ac is equal to 0, right, this is b square and no roots if b square minus 4ac is less than 0. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.